I was just thinking about how evil math is. I remember when I was in school, it was horrible. When I got out of high school, I swore I was never going to take it again. And my biggest problem with math was that it was so absolute. You can, I, no, there was only one answer for it. There was no way there was going to be any deviation. It, it, that was the answer. It was too absolute for me. And I was just thinking that maybe that a new form of math should be developed called relative sum math. Meaning that 2 plus 2 doesn't necessarily have to equal 4. You know, and the problem with 2 plus 2 equal 4 is no matter how you do it, you could take four sticks, put them together, it still equals four. You could take four rocks together, put them together, it would still be four. Two times two equals four. Or you could divide the sticks in half, and, and eight halves will equal four. You know, it's just the, the sum is always the same, no matter what approach you take. And that's just a simple example, because I'm sure there's more complicated examples, but that's what my math skills will allow. Well, my idea is that to develop a mathematical formula that will say that the sums are relative, meaning that they could be whatever you want. Two plus two could be a billion. Uh, one plus one could be a trillion. Just whatever number you want to put in there will work. Just make all the sums relative. Now, what will this imply if they develop this kind of math? Well, let's take it. First thing it will do is make all the students in America happy. Nobody would flunk math because no matter what number you put in there, it's going to be the right number. And it will encourage kids to take math because it's going to be easy to pass that because you're removing the absolute element from it. Um, the other thing it's going to do is help our is help us to get to Mars faster because I'm you know I've that one of the goals of our, our country is to put a man on Mars. And it's going to take years, and I'm sure a lot of that time is spent checking the math, making sure that the ship has enough uh, power to make the trip, figuring out how much fuel it's going to take, figuring out the best time to leave, um, you know, how to you know hit Mars at the right time, and where they're going to land on Mars, what angle they're going to have to, you know, wasting a lot of time with math. Well, with this absolute math or the, this relative sum math, they could put in whatever number they want and they'll, they'll get the job done. So instead of looking at years, they could be looking at months. Or like construction, you know, how they'll spend a lot of time trying to figure out weight, you know, weight loads and how much, how can, the building can stand or what kind of angles to use and all that fun stuff. Well, buildings will go up faster. You, you know, you take a few minutes, put in your numbers and throw up your building or your bridge. And also my form of math will make amusement park rides much more exciting and interesting. The other implications for this economy is for our economy. Let's say like you want to sell some furniture and you put on one of these uh, uh, apps that, you know, you're, you're letting your neighbors know that you're selling your furniture and let's say you're asking for a thousand dollars. Well, somebody could give you a five dollar bill and say, well, here's a thousand. Well, that's not necessarily ripping you off. You could go to your bank and say, well, here's a thousand with that five dollar bill. Or if you want five thousand, you could say, well, here's five thousand. And I mean, the way it would change our economy is it's not what it's actually worth. It would be changed to what we think it's worth. And currency would be just blank sheets of paper with whatever number we want right on. You see, everybody would be happier with that kind of math. And also, people that are trying to diet, they could have a 10,000 calorie meal, but say it's a 500 calorie meal, and they would still lose weight. And you're thinking, well, this is impossible. I don't think this math exists. You're just joking. Well, I think our government's already using this kind of math because of the way they spend money. And I think they need to release this relative sum math to us so we could enjoy the same life, life that they do. So that's my thought. Have a good fourth.